Mika Tan. I'm finally back and I'm here to wrap up season three of Jersey Shore. I left off on episode 10, so I'm gonna do a quick recap on episode 11, 12, and 13. The cast leaves the shore and head to Jenkinson's boardwalk. It's kinda like the shore, there's still Guidos and Guidettes there, it's just more alcohol. The cast have a good time, they meet guys, they have drinks, they do shots, Snooky falls down, the usual. Benny gets a spray tan, he looks good. He doesn't look orange, he just looks a little golden brown. And Pauly D convinces him to get an ear piercing. I'm not a fan of guys having ear piercings, but he looks cute. Roger meets Jay Wild's dad, that was pretty intense and Roger asked Jay Wild to be his girlfriend. She accepts, so now they're together, they're officially a couple. And Jay Wild ditched the old guy that was really abusive and locked the dogs in the house and took her bed. Dina, she's supposed to be a party or a good time, but she ends up cock blocking Vinny. One of her old girlfriends came to visit them and the girl was clearly trying to hook up with Vinny, but Dina was like, no, he's not a good guy, blah, blah, blah. And Vinny straight up screams on her. It was pretty bad, and for a few days, they, they don't really talk. The girls in the house think that Vinny turned into a douchebag once he got his spray tan. He's just saying all kinds of crazy things to them now, and he was rapping with Sammy, and he dissed her. It's just bad. Snooki, she, for the past three episodes, 11, 12, and 13, she fell down probably every single episode, and she ends up getting a face rash, the situation gives her a facial. Everyone is hysterical because he's all about his face and his, his cleanliness. Snooki hooks up with a Pauly D lookalike. He's very skinny, but he has like the little top hair thing. Stalker Danielle shows her face one more time. This girl needs to get a life. She can't keep doing this. My favorite, Ron does his creepy pat and move. I love when he does this dance. I actually have it on repeat. Check it out. Finally, the major drama that lasted three episodes is Sam texting a guy named Arvin. Do you guys remember when Sam left the house and spent some time at home? Apparently when Sam was home, she sent a text message to a Gorilla Juice head named Arvin. Arvin is friends with the situation. So when everyone was at Aztec, the situation bumped into Arvin and Arvin kept asking questions about Sammy and where she was and if she was with Ron and the situation thought that was kind of weird until Arvin told them that Sammy had been texting him. Long story short, Ron ends up speaking to Arvin on the phone and Arvin told him that, you know, they didn't hook up, but they did make out. This still pissed Ron off, but he kind of got over it. The season ended on a quiet note. Everyone said their goodbyes. It was pretty calm. There was no fist pumping going on. Their last dinner was pretty lame because of all the drama going on. But I think they just need a break from each other. Just a few days away from the house and away from everyone and away from Sam and Ron. Oh, and Sam and Ron decided to break up, finally. But let's see how long that lasts. I was a bit wary about this season. I didn't really see the point of them coming back to the shore, but I was entertained. This was a good season. It was a lot of Sam and Ron going on, but in between there, there was clogged toilets, Dina falling down. Oh, I'm really happy that Dina was here this season. She was a party. She did Jersey Turnpike and all the guys had a good time with her. And I'm just glad that Angelina is not around. Season four of Jersey Shore airs this week on MTV. I'm so excited. After watching the trailer and checking reliable blogs, this season looks like it's gonna be the best season ever. The crew is in Italy. That is the motherland <laughs> of the Guido. <laughs> so it's gonna be great. I hear that Snooki gets into a car accident with a police officer. The situation ends up in the hospital after having a fist fight with Ron. Oh my God. And for some reason, Jay Wow and Snooki they're having a fight. I think their friendship is gonna end. I can't wait to see it. This season, I'll be watching every episode. I will not do video posts recapping every show, but if something really grabs my attention, you guys can definitely check me out here. Regardless, I will be blogging about Jersey Shore and I will definitely be tweeting every week it airs. I would like for you guys to join me when the new season starts usually every Thursday for about a month or so. So I'm gonna put my info below and you can follow me on Twitter. I'd like to give Twitter shout outs to two for one, Kizzy, Shoe Booty, Diane Orr, Fenny Lynn, 
Patrice C., Iron Man Bobby, and Cortez NYC. Thank you guys for watching my Jersey Shore recap. You can always find me on this page or at TamikaTime.com. Bye, guys.